Hey everyone, welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily, thank you for tuning in to another video. This one I am going to be featuring five brands and as you can tell by the title of this video, I am ranking a bunch of mini puzzle brands. So these are all puzzles that are really, really small, not a ton of pieces, but in general, they're just fun, compact. I've really been a fan of mini puzzles because me and my husband Dave in normal times would travel quite frequently and having a little puzzle for a plane ride or a car ride or I also love doing them when I'm at work on my lunch break or outside drinking some wines. So I do mini puzzles quite frequently but I've only been really committed to one brand because they're just so small and compact. So as we've been preparing for our trip to see family I was like you know what? I want to get a couple more mini puzzles to have on our trip. Decided to do a video about it and I went and got five different brands and I'm going to talk about all of them today. I'm going to do a little ranking session of the one I least recommend to the ones that I love the most and maybe I'll find a new brand that I love. Maybe they'll all be duds but we shall see. Before we get into the montage I just want to give you a little heads up towards the end of the video I'm just going to do a little life update. I don't really talk about myself on my channel at all but there are going to be some changes that you will see in the next Few videos so I just wanted to give you a heads up about that but we will just get into the montage of me doing all these puzzles and when we get back I'll tell you all of my thoughts the great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes the day has begun you spin around you spin around you laugh to yourself and i see you shine in every color resting your head in my arms you sing la, 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 la. my god i think i might be in love get rid of all your sorrows in the summer city you'll never feel alone as long as you're I hope you liked watching me put all these puzzles together. In general, I had a really fun time. I love mini puzzles because they're just really easy and simple and they don't take me a long time to do because they're only about 100 to 150 pieces. There aren't crazy mini puzzles which are like a thousand pieces that are like this big. I really like things for the compact and travel friendly ability. So puzzle brand that I had the most issues with, and this is based off the one puzzle that I did, is by Chronicle Books. And it is the one that is the chocolate box puzzle, or the a little something chocolate. This is such a good concept because I could see this being like a really fun Valentine's gift, or a little stocking stuffer. They had a few different options. It is on the higher end of pricing compared to all of these. This one was around $10. It is 150 pieces. And again, I do like the concept, but I had a lot of quality issues with this puzzle. My biggest issue was the pieces. They had a very lightweight quality to them. I hope I can just 
describe this correctly. You know how some puzzles just feel like they're hollow inside, like the pieces feel squishy and that they're not just well made. They're not like that nice thick cardboard. Even though these pieces were thick, they just didn't have, it didn't feel like foam. It's definitely a cardboard, but it definitely didn't feel like a high quality puzzle piece. I don't know if that described the puzzle piece well enough, but in general, it just didn't seem like a sturdy puzzle. I also had a lot of issues with the graphic separating from the puzzle piece, and one puzzle piece actually completely came off the graphic. I was able to make it look fine once it was all put together, and I could easily repair it with some glue. Quite a few of the puzzle pieces had the edges like picked up. I can like make them go flat, but in general, this was not a high quality puzzle, and it did make it just not as fun and enjoyable. I do like, however, that the puzzle pieces do stay really, really well together. You can pick up the whole entire thing without any issues and they fit really well and snugly. This one, unfortunately, I would not recommend just because of the quality issues for the price. I think you can do better. The next puzzle brand, I'm not quite sure what the puzzle brand even is. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll put it on a screen. This is one that I can definitely see is the dupe for the one that's in the number one spot. So this one here is a mini puzzle brand from China. You can get a three pack, which is what I did. They had a whole bunch of different varieties. I got it on Amazon. They were $13.99 for the whole entire pack. So price wise, it's really good. I did have some issues with it though. First off, I had a lot of pieces where the graphic was peeling around the edges similar to the chocolate one, but not as bad as the chocolate one where they were completely coming off. I did like the piece size. I like how small this puzzle is because it is really, really compact. I can do it like on a book or outside on my patio with no issues. So I do like that this has a variety of different shapes. You know, they're the traditional puzzle shapes so that they aren't all the twos. I think that's what someone called them before. However, the graphic itself was very blurry. It was hard to see clear lines. The puzzle pieces didn't stick well together. You know, you could easily like move the whole puzzle about. So I feel like it was definitely like a two-handed process for this whole entire puzzle because you have to like keep it in place to put the piece down. When you see the close-ups, I'm you can't see my other hand, but I really had to work to make sure the puzzle didn't move about because it was just didn't have that secure fit. It was just it was a good puzzle brand, you know, if you are in a pinch or if you just want to some really cute stocking stuffers. I can see these being like a great gift. You know, they're not completely unusable, but it just wasn't my favorite brand. I am excited though to still have two more to do. I mean, I'm still gonna do the puzzles. It wasn't like I didn't enjoy it, but it was definitely more challenging than it needed to be. The puzzle that is in the middle of the road is this one from Gallison. This is the Your Sweet puzzle, which I also think would be really fun for Valentine's Day or Christmas gift or like they had a whole bunch of different varieties. I already like Gallison puzzles anyways, and I was so excited to find that they have mini ones. This one looks like it was actually made to be a Valentine's gift because it has a little part on the back where you can write stuff down. This is the only one that was 100 pieces. I think everything else was 150 if I remember correctly. Um, this one retailed for about $8, so not the highest in price, but I really enjoyed this puzzle. It was really fun to put together. It's definitely larger in size once it's all said and done. So that's why it's kind of in the middle of the road for size wise, but also the pieces just didn't sit securely together. Um, it did better than these guys here, but it was one that like if you knocked it or if a cat jumped up, they would easily just like spread apart. So that's why it's in the middle of the road, but I did like how matte it was. I loved how vibrant it was. The piece quality was fantastic, similar to the other Gallison puzzles. They just have really good snap to them. They're really thick and heavy duty pieces, but in general, I just had issues with it staying together. It was a little bit larger in size, and I just prefer the other two puzzles that are in the ranking more than this one. But would buy more from them. It was really fun to do. The top two puzzle brands, I really had a hard time deciding which one needed to be in the top spot. Either way, I would buy more from both of these puzzles. I had so much fun putting them together. Highly recommend them. And one I just prefer because of the price point and the variety of puzzles versus the other ones. But the puzzle in the second place spot was one that was a wooden puzzle. I was so excited to get this puzzle because I've always wanted to do a wooden puzzle. They are expensive. I was able to find this one on Amazon. It was $20, so the highest in price point compared to all of these, but you guys, it's a wooden puzzle. I got this one. It is called King of the Jungle Lion, 
and I'll put in close-ups so you can see just how beautiful this puzzle is. I 100% would buy more from this brand. The puzzles are wooden. They're really thick. They do fit well together, but it is a wooden puzzle, so they don't have that, that quite secure fit that most cardboard puzzles do. I really love the intricate shapes in puzzle pieces. I loved that they had those very unique puzzle pieces. There's one that's like a cup. We have like a couple axes. There was a bird. They had quite a few different like of those specific piece shapes, which was just an extra little added bonus. This one also was a little bit more challenging because of the intricate patterns inside. So it gave me a little bit of challenge. It took me longer to do, but I just love how beautiful this wooden box is. It comes with a little easel so you can pop up the box top while you're doing it it also comes with like a little burlap bag for the pieces i just really enjoyed this one so much i can see me gifting these to other people i can see this just being out on a shelf somewhere as just a really pretty decor item and i could see myself buying more and i just really enjoyed this again it was really hard to pick between this one and my top spot but i think for price wise it's just a little bit higher for a mini puzzle but it was 100 percent worth it and if you haven't tried one i'll leave all the puzzles that I, I did in this video down below but i can see myself buying more of this i really enjoyed it and then my top spot which i'm surprised because i was doing this video to find new brands that would be in the top spot but the one that is still here is my favorite mini puzzle brand the one that i've been doing for quite some time and that is micro puzzles. So I have quite a few here already that I already owned. I'm excited for the new ones that are coming in the mail. And I love that they are a small family owned business. They're just a husband and wife duo and they're made in the USA. So they are more expensive than this guy here. These ones are around $7 a piece. You can get free shipping if you buy two or more puzzles. They also have a subscription box if you are one that just wants a new puzzle here and there. Um, but I just really have been loving these puzzles. They're really, really compact. They come up to be like a four by six little postcard size. The puzzle pieces stick really well together. You can pick up the whole entire thing, like hang it upside down, no issues with it falling apart. It just fits really well together so easy and compact to travel with. I've gone on so many different plane rides with these. Another thing I like about Micro Puzzle, I'm sorry this is such a big glowing review for this brand, but they have a variety of difficulty. They have some that are a bit more easy, like this one was pretty easy, which is the, uh, I don't know if it's like patches or stickers of uh, state parks, but they also have ones that are really challenging. I'll put a couple on the screen that I've done before, an hour to two hours to do, like the Starry Night one, was so difficult and I was not expecting that. And I actually liked it because you're just doing this really small puzzle, but it just gave you a little bit more thought process to it. So I do like that they have a little bit more challenging ones. They also have some really fun ones. Anyways, I just love this brand and I'll leave them down below. So that is it for the puzzle portion of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for subscribing. I just want to touch base with you guys about what's happening on my end of things. Crazy life stuff is happening right now. I know I missed a week's upload. I try to post at least once per week, but sometimes life just gets in the way. I am a full-time employee. I'm also a full-time student, and I've been trying to do YouTube videos, which has been so challenging. You guys don't know this, but I do work at Sephora currently. I've been with them for seven years, and this week is my last week with them. I'm doing a huge career shift. Um, so I am a full-time student. I'm going to school for marketing. I'm in my final year. And I'm so excited that I do have a job opportunity, which I am so incredibly excited about and fortunate about. And I start right after our trip to Maine. So my last week at my current job is this week here. So I'm trying to get everything all buckled up with them. And I'm also trying to get ready for our big trip to Maine to see family. Both my husband and I are vaccinated, so we feel comfortable traveling on a plane to visit our family. We haven't seen them in years and we miss them. You guys know that I'm really trying to get to the White Mountain Puzzle Company store. I actually do have a factory in Massachusetts. I'm not sure if it's open for tours, but Dave is on the idea of going. So we'll see if I actually get to see the factory, but I am excited to see the store. I'm sure I'll buy some puzzles. I do plan on filming while I'm there. I mean, we're going to be there for almost three weeks, which is so incredible. So I'll have plenty of free time to do puzzles, maybe make a video about it. But in general, I'm just really excited to hang out with family 
travel, relax, and get ready for my new job, which is going to be a marketing director for a company. I'm so excited for the no commute. I do commute an hour each way, so I'll be getting so much extra free time because this job could either be remote or the office is literally 10 minutes away and everything about it is good news and I just want to give you a heads up because you will see different scenery as I'm traveling. Um, you'll probably see a few puzzle videos. I do plan on doing one more puzzle video before I leave and then I'll be filming while I'm there and I'm just all around excited but I just want to give you a heads up of why I missed last week's video. It's just there's a lot happening. So um, we also went to Disneyland a couple times which oh, I've missed so much. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming it, so much fun putting these puzzles together, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.